Woot Weghorst could be on his way to Manchester United, and he would be an excellent sign for Eric Ten Hag's side. The Dutchman is currently on loan at Besiktas from Burnley, but United have spoken with the Clarets about taking over the loan for the rest of the season. Burnley are willing to let him leave for Old Trafford, but the final decision will be made by Besiktas, who have the option to sign him permanently and may prefer to keep him given that he is their top scorer. If Ten Hag and company get the chance to bring him to the club, they should take it. You may scratch your head at that statement if your only experience with him is his five months at Burnley last season, but it's unfair to dismiss him based solely on that time. To be honest, that was a dreadful Burnley team in which nobody looked good, and compared to the other unfortunate souls who had the misfortune of playing in that side, he wasn't that bad, scoring the second most goals of anyone despite playing only half a season. Aside from his time in Lancashire, his record is actually quite good, with 169 goals in 387 appearances, averaging 0.44 goals per game. Most of those goals came at a high level as well, with 70 in 144 matches at Wolfsburg. Man United are currently in no position to turn down someone with such a record, which is far superior to that of any player currently at the club. It may come as a surprise given that he is widely regarded as a Route 1 target man and little else, but he also fits Ten Hag's style of play well. As evidenced by the large fee Ajax paid to sign Shea Bastian Haller, his star player at Utrecht, the manager prefers strikers who can not only hold up the ball and link up play but also get on the end of crosses, as his team swing in a lot of them. In his time under Ten Hag at the two Dutch clubs, Haller headed in 16 of them and turned in plenty more with his feet. Weghorst outperforms Manchester United's only recognised number 9, Anthony Marshall, in this area, with aerial ability and movement in the box not being the Frenchman's strong points. That is not the end of the 30-year-olds because, to use one of English football's great clichés, he has good feet for a big man. With the ball at his feet and his back to the goal, he is more than capable of creating chances for teammates and finishing a good portion of those that fall to him. Weghorst is essentially a less attractive, less talented, and more tattooed Olivier Giroud. That may not sound like the most exciting signing for Manchester United fans, but it would be a good one in the short term. At worst, he can come in for six months as an alternative to Marshall, pushing the Frenchman to improve and taking his place if he doesn't before the club signs a top striker in the summer. He's also the ideal man to bring off the bench if a goal is desperately needed. We've all seen what he did to Argentina. At best, he can be for them what Giroud is for France, a number nine who doesn't set the world on fire but helps his more talented teammates shine. Given that they won't have to pay much and can get rid of him after six months if they want, it's a risk-free signing, and given their recent transfer business, Man United could use one of those.